There you go, Mr. Mousy. Now you stay off that leg and do everything I told you, and it'll be just like new in no time at all. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Happy to be able to help. <laughs> You found a watch? You want to be a watch? You're running! We're running out of time? No, you're late? Important date! The big brunch for Princess Celestia at Sugar Cube Corner! <sighs> oh, the princess is here in Ponyville for a party, and we all promised we'd be there, but I'm not there! Oh, do I look all right? Do I need to bring anything? Maybe I shouldn't go! Huh? It's starting! I'm missing it! <sighs> oh, thanks, Angel! <sighs> If you hadn't reminded me, I might have not remembered, and then I wouldn't be there, and every pony would be wondering where I was, and... Oh, right. I'm late. Oh, okay then. See you later. My little pony, my little pony, ah. Ship could be my until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun, a beautiful heart, faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? One of the princess's royal guards, anyway. Is the pay good? Hello? Anybody home? Ooh, you're good. Too good. I'm bored. You made it. <gasps> halt! Who goes there? No one. Never mind. I'll go home. It's all right, sirs. She's on the list. Thanks, Twilight. I'm so glad you could make it, Fluttershy. It wouldn't be the same without you. How's every pony doing? Good? <laughs> Good. Anything else we can get for you, dearies? Oh, I, I mean, esteemed guests. Everything is fine, Mr. and Mrs. Cake. Sorry I'm late. I had to finish taking care of a patient first. Oh, you and your tender, loving care of little animals. I just know Princess Celestia is going to love that about you. I mean, I hope she will. I mean, <laughs> of course she will. Wow, Twilight. I thought I was the only one who got nervous at social gatherings. Oh, it's not that. I just want the princess to approve of my friends. But she's met us all before. And read about you in my letters. <laughs> but this is the first time she's spent any real time with you. I want every pony to make a good impression. Well, I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Besides, it's just a casual get-together, right? Don't touch me! Watch the dress! Careful! You're gonna spill that on me! Oh, ooh, that looks delicious. What is it? Oh, does it stain? Keep it away from me! Or perhaps not that casual. Uh, which is the salad and which is the appetizer again? And which am I supposed to eat first? Oh, never mind. I'm not hungry. It's okay, Twilight. So her friend's manners aren't perfect. I doubt the princess will even notice. <laughs> Oh, chocolate fountainy goodness. Can eat that? Hey! 
A thousand pardons, Your Majesty. That's quite all right. Thank you. Empty teacup at four o'clock! I see it, honey bun. Oh, um, thank you. Not at all, Your Highness. Thank you again. Oh, but of course, Your Majesty. Gotcha. And what about you, dear? Fluttershy, is it? Me? Oh, yes, Your Highness. I understand from Twilight Sparkle's letters that you enjoy tending to the needs of woodland creatures. Yes, I love to take care of animals. As do I. As Princess, I care deeply about all creatures, great and small. <coughs> Nothing means more to me than the well-being of all my subjects. <coughs> Ah, Philomena, my pet. You're awake. Do say hello to our gracious hosts. <coughs> oh, my. She is quite a sight, isn't she? I... I... I've never seen anything like it. <coughs> really? Well, if I must... I'm sorry, every pony. I'm afraid I have to cut the party short. <laughs> the mayor has requested an audience with me. Royal duty calls. Thank you for a wonderful time. It's been a joy getting to know you all better. Yeah. Now I can eat something. I'm starved. Stay right where you are. All I want is a clear path to the exit. Nobody move, and my dress won't get hurt. Stay back! Back, I say! <sighs> well, Spike, I don't know for sure how things went with the princess, but at least no big disasters happened. Poor little thing. How did you ever get in such bad condition? Don't you worry, Philomena. I'm nursing you back to health as a favor to the princess, who is obviously just far too busy to care for you properly. I'm sure the princess will appreciate the help. Oh my! We'd better get you to bed right away. There. This is far worse than I thought. What you need is some medicine. Stat! Here you go, Philomena. This will fix you right up. Dr. Fluttershy expected that. Always works. <gasps> oh, almost always. <laughs> There's nothing like homemade soup to cure what ails you. Come on now, you're not going to get better if you don't cooperate. Mmm, see? It's delicious. Good and good for you. Here comes the choo-choo train. Chugga-chugga, chugga-chugga, woo-woo! Oh, dear. Don't worry, Philomena. I know what'll make you feel better. Wait right here. I have just the thing. <coughs> Look, Philomena. I brought a fellow feathered friend by to cheer you up. Hummingway here was sick once, too, but he let me help him and got better in no time. Didn't you, boy? 
Say hello to your new friend, Philomena. Oh, look, I think he likes you. Your turn now, Philomena. Go ahead, you can do it. Um, good try? I know what'll clear up that tickle in your throat. A humidifier. <sighs> ah, refreshing. How's that feeling now for you, Philomena? Better? <sighs> oh. <coughs> That's okay. I know lots of other ways to take care of you. Don't worry, you're gonna get better. How about... Aromatherapy? you back to health, but I've tried everything I know. And look at you. You're worse than ever. <laughs> Hi, Fluttershy. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you so very much for making such a good impression on the princess today. <gasps> what is Celestia's pet doing here? I couldn't leave the poor thing there. She needed my help. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. How could I just walk away and not do anything? But, but she doesn't belong to you! I had to do something! Without telling any pony? Without asking permission? But... <gasps> I know you had good intentions, but you have got to return the princess's pet! But... <sighs> oh, you're right. Okay, let's... <gasps> go. If we hurry, we can put her back before any pony even realizes she's missing. We were told we could find Twilight Sparkle here. We regret to inform you, miss, that the royal pet has gone missing. Really? You don't say! <laughs> <laughs> it's that dry night air? But it's daytime. Well, day air's even drier. <laughs> you guards better be on your way if you're gonna find the princess's missing pet. Philomena, was it? Thank you ever so much for keeping me in the loop. Bye! <laughs> Going to return Philomena, remember? We can't now! Why not? You have no idea what the princess is gonna do if she finds you're the one who took her pet, do you? Do you? Well, no. But it can't be anything good. She might banish you from Equestria, or throw you in a dungeon. <gasps> or banish you and then throw you in a dungeon in the place that she banishes you to. You really think the princess would do that? Okay, granted that probably won't happen, but do you want to take any chances? All that really matters to me is that poor little Philomena here gets well. <laughs> That's very noble of you. I'll write to you when you're banished. Unless I'm banished too somewhere there's no post office, then you'll have to write to me. Deal? Please, Twilight, you just have to help me get Philomena healthy, and then we can return her to the princess, and everything will be fine. Did you give her any kind of medicine? I tried to, but she wouldn't take it. 
Ugh. Then you have to make her take it. You can't be such a pushover, Fluttershy. You need to show this patient who's the boss. Make her straighten up and fly right. She can't fly. No excuses. <laughs> Done. Okay, what else? Uh, well, she keeps pulling her feathers off. The ones that haven't fallen out yet from all her coughing, I mean. There you go. I don't think she likes it. Tough love, baby. You want her to get well, don't you? Of course, but... Next! Well, she desperately needs some bed rest, but I can't get her to stay put. One step ahead of you. It's for your own good, Philomena, I promise. Please, just relax and try to get some sleep. What's the soup over here? Smells delicious. I made it for Philomena, but she wouldn't need it. Oh, she'll eat it all right. is going on here. Twilight? Yes, Your Majesty. There's been a terrible accident. It's all my fault. No, Princess. Fluttershy didn't know any better. It was my fault. I'm the one who did it. But you were only trying to help. Some help I was. Will you let me do this? She'll go easier on me. But it's my fault. No, it's my fault. <laughs> no, it's my fault! Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> Thanks for trying to protect me, Twilight, but Princess Celestia, I'm the one who took your pet bird. I really was only trying to help the poor little thing, then I was gonna bring it right back to you, honest. So, if you want to banish me and then throw me in a dungeon in the place that you banished me to, then that's what I deserve. Oh, stop fooling around, Philomena. You're scaring every pony. I don't understand. What is that thing? What happened to Philomena? This is Philomena. She's quite a sight, as I said, but nothing unusual for a phoenix. Isn't that right, Philomena? A phoenix? A phoenix is a majestic and magical bird. While it appears healthy and happy most of the time, every so often it must renew itself by shedding all of its feathers and bursting into flame. Rather melodramatic, if you ask me. It then rises from the ashes, fresh as a daisy. All just a normal part of the life cycle of a phoenix. 
I'm afraid mischievous little Philomena here took the occasion to have a little fun with you, Fluttershy. Say you're sorry, young lady. So, aren't you gonna banish me, or throw me in a dungeon, or banish me, then throw me in a dungeon in the place that you banished me to? Of course not, my little pony. Where on earth would you get such an idea? I guess I have some imagination. Fluttershy really did do everything she could to try to take care of Philomena for you. And I do appreciate that your heart was in the right place, child. But all you had to do was ask me, and I could have told you Philomena was a phoenix, and saved you all this trouble. I know. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. Next time I'll ask before taking matters into my own hooves. Should I write you a letter about that lesson, Princess? No, that's quite all right. I think I can remember. It's beautiful. Thank you, Philomena. No hard feelings. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 